So I have a 32 channel console. Um, I put the 1084 style EQ on the first 16 channels and the 88 style EQ on the last 16 channels. Ever since getting the console, the Genesis preamps, the 1073s have been almost everything. Occasionally I'll use something else just for a little other color, but yeah, now mostly the, the racks are for the dynamics or maybe some kind of uh, reverb or delay or something like that. You know, one thing I didn't know about the Genesis when I bought it was exactly, you know, the EQ you adjust in the master section. Um, that actually is a huge benefit um, because if you're EQing channel one, you're not way down at the far end of the control room wondering, does this really translate? <laughs> you gotta you know, move back to the middle to see, but you're always kind of in the middle when you're adjusting the EQ. So the thing that has just put it over the top for me has been the, the Genesis control plugin. Um, because that was kind of like when I was just conceptualizing in my mind, like the ideal console. Like, I always thought, like, they should just have like a plugin that lets you take care of the automation. Um, so then you can just like do your usual things that you do in the DAW, like with drawing, you know, waveform or drawing with a pencil tool or whatever you want to do um, to, to create your automations. You can easily edit them. And once they came out with that for the Genesis, I was like, okay, this is like basically exactly what I ever could dream of, you know? Before I'd be like, okay, um, do I want to fire up the Encore automation software? It was kind of like a last resort kind of thing because it, it required you know extra steps and had to be kind of careful with it. And now it's like, oh yeah, just put the plug in on and just do the thing in the DAW, but do it on real hardware. Um, it just, I just more quickly like move to that and. Um, I think there's some sonic benefits to that. And it makes it easier to use some outboard gear because, you know, one thing about once you are using outboard gear in your mix is like changing the level, if you need to, of that in the mix. Like, you have to automate it basically. Um, so um, sometimes, you know, I'd be like, oh, I could use that piece of gear over here, but I know I'm going to need to like mute it or do this or that to it, and I would be hesitating. I use a plugin, but now it's like, no, I can do it. I can just use the Genesis control plugin and take care of it really easily. So it makes me use my hardware more. I think. Built out of like a professional studio, I was like, okay, you know, let me let me do this right uh, this time. And and I was looking at cheaper consoles at first, definitely. Um, but I was like, if I'm gonna do this, I should do it. <laughs> I have the budget, um, you know, this is going to be like a, like a 20 year or something commitment, you know, probably this console, like, yeah, it, business has definitely improved. People are excited about it and recognize the value of it, for sure.